I think you know Captain Campbell. Captain Campbell of His Majesty's ship Dorsetshire. Congratulations. Captain Campbell has been assisting me in the preliminary testing of Dr. Meyer's tables. The Reverend is making a mathematician out of me. The results are very encouraging. I've been commissioned by the Royal Society to travel to St. Helena to observe the transit of Venus. So on the way, I am to make further tests of the tables. What brings you here? We're applying for a trial. A West Indies trial. Specified by the act of longitude. That's great news. And not before time. I'd almost given up on you, Mr. Harrison. I hope you will accept my services in any way I can be of assistance. Thank you. Mr. Harrison. Gentlemen. My lords, I've come for more money. <laughs> that is your normal reason for honouring our presence, is it not, Mr. Harrison? Your lordships, my third timepiece is completed. I'm testing a fourth, which may be of great service with respect to the longitude. My son has been urging me for some time to put him to trial. I've decided to agree and wish to apply to take him to the West Indies. What? A West Indies trial? You told me the machine was not even adjusted. That is what I understood, my lord, but apparently he's making a new machine. What did the board resolve? There was a suggestion that he might travel to the West Indies with the Captain John Campbell on the Dorsetshire. Oh, if he has to have a trial, it mustn't be with Captain Campbell, who is his friend. Maskell's trip to St. Helena will take four months. Harrison must not be permitted to return first. Uh, uh, we must find some other occupation for the Dorsetshire. With your permission, my lord. Please, carry on. Please, please, stay. Observe. I think you'll find this most interesting. This is the pineal gland. But the gland that controls our emotions. Sir. This is the first. Yes, sir. My father took me to Lisbon when I was eight years old. Beautiful. Quite beautiful. May I? Of course. <laughs> Remarkable. And it has kept time continuously for 24 years. Ah. And this is the second and this the third. And this is our new watch. Extraordinary. I congratulate you, Mr. Harrison. Which of these will you take to the Indies? I will take neither. I'm an old man, not fit for a long journey. Besides, I'm no sailor. My son has an enthusiasm for the sea, which I do not share. I shall send him in my stead. But you must be present for the trial. My lord, as you know, we've had difficulty in finding a ship. Mr. Campbell wished to take us, but he was ordered away on other business. The delay has, however, allowed me to continue testing my watch. I'm pleased with it. Very pleased. I shall keep the third machine here in London with me. Send the watch for test under the care of his son, William. Well, I hope to be of assistance. I can't promise you a captain as sympathetic as John Campbell. But I will do my best. Thank you, my lord. What is their crime? Selling alcohol? There's a rumor that the ship's beer is rotten and the men may be forced to drink water. These three were caught selling their own brew at an exorbitant price. Is water so terrible? Mr. Harrison, please do not walk away. It is a requirement that punishment should be witnessed by the whole crew. Every stroke that you do not observe will be taken again. Thank you, gentlemen. This is what I mean. This 
is your water, sir. This is what there is for the men to drink if the beer is fouled. Mm. How you reckon Madeira, Mr. Leonov? Two days travelling south-southwest. <sighs> Damn and blast the bloody purser. We should all have dry throats by then. I believe that, that we are closer than that, but the direction is due south. Did you speak, Mr. Harrison? Well, according to the watch, we should sight. Porto Santo at dawn tomorrow if we hold our present course due south. I've checked the figures very carefully. What do you say, gentlemen? Mr. Harrison, I don't pretend to understand your calculations, but I'm under instruction to test your watch, and test it we damn well shall. Mr. Learmouth, hold this course until tomorrow morning. Yes, sir. Send my compliments to the captain. I think you should come down here. Neither myself nor my officers will drink anything this evening other than the same water that is in front of you. It ain't fit for Start me. that man! I will not tolerate being interrupted when I'm speaking. Now, I am aware that what is in front of you is not the sweetest of beverages, but we have a guest on board our ship under instruction from the Admiralty. He has assured me that we will be able to take on fresh water tomorrow from Madeira. He has a machine that has made this clear to him. Is there anyone here who wishes to quarrel with Mr. Harrison's machine? Good. Then kindly get on with your meal. What time is it? Five. Not long now, then? No, sir. Look out aloft, Mr. Learmouth. They've been up there for half an hour. And the horizon? Horizon! Thank you, Mr. Learmouth. Let's put an end to this. Mr. Seward, I want all hands to quarters within the hour. Mr. Learmouth, set a new course, please, south, southwest. If there are any complaints about the delay, the men can take the matter up with Mr. Harrison. <laughs> 